Hey, what's going on everybody? Jesse James from Black Fork Lawn. I know it's getting dark. It's getting late. Had a lot of rain today. Had a lot of paperwork to do. But we just uh, turned in another uh, a quote for a pretty good job we're really hoping to get. If we pick this count up, that's one step closer to being able to uh, go further in our career and our own future. Like, like Jim Rohn always says, work full-time at your job and part-time on your future. Why build... Why work your entire life and sell your labor, your time, to someone else to build their dreams? Why not build your dreams? And that's what I'm trying to do. That's what Connor's trying to do. We're doing something that we enjoy doing in the service industry. We enjoy working outside. Hey, we're one step closer every single day. We keep trying, keep working hard. Hopefully we'll be out the door. Love it. And we're just walking around Home Depot. Looking, uh, I was looking to price some edgers, but I seen that Milwaukee Maldi tool. Man, that thing looks nice, but a little bit out of my price range right now, but that's a goal I'm gonna set for myself. I'm pretty new to the lawn care YouTube community. But man, there's a lot of drama going on. Every time I open up something, it's always something that's, I don't know. I just never assume some guys cutting grass could have this much drama inside the YouTube community. It's it's a lot different. I never noticed it. I've been, I've been following YouTube channels for a lot of years, but never was that close. I mean, I used to love Geek the Freak's videos. Johnny Moe, I used to watch his stuff. But I never followed it as close. Now that I'm in it, I watch a lot of different stuff. And man, it's a lot of vitriol. A lot of people acting like fifth grade sissies. Window washing. That looks like it might be one of my next ventures. I'm gonna do try to do that on the side. But seems like a good idea. Looking into it. All right, didn't really have nothing I was looking for, but that's okay. We're just killing time anyway. And everybody kept staring at us like a, some weirdo talking to a phone, which I am. Just leaving Chipotle. Got my chicken bowl. That is the first time I've ever walked in and walked right out of Chipotle. Of course, they do close in, uh, let's see, fucking 15, they close in 15 minutes. But that was amazing. Huh? Huh? Hey, you gonna talk? You gonna talk? Do you enjoy your trip, bud? Say dad, dad. Say dad, dad. Dad, dad, dad. You looking at yourself? Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. Dad, dad. What are you guys do today? Dad. We rode in the car for a long time. I thought you did. I alluded to earlier about I'm one step closer to quitting my job. And if anybody's out there that has a job and they're and they're scared or nervous about about quitting their job, I am too. That's a that's a big big step. I've come a long way in the past couple of years from where I was. But look at it now like me and Connor got together the end, middle of June, beginning of June, we've always talked about doing something, starting our own business, but everybody always talks about something. No one ever does anything. We said, uh, let's just, let's just do it. See what happens. Try to build what we can. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully in February next year, we could, uh, of 2020, February, 2020, we could really start marketing real heavy. We can really maybe make something of it, you know? We never thought we just figured we'd mow a couple yards, make up, but it's take, it's getting a lot, we're getting a lot more than what we thought. But if you guys are out there and you're miserable, why, why would you want to build somebody else's future? If you're, if you don't enjoy something, if, if you feel like something's, if you don't feel like you're being valued, why would you want to build somebody else's future? I'm tired of doing that. I've been in manufacturing for 11 years. Since I was 18, I hired in at Midwest. Worked here for about 11 years. Or worked here for about seven years, rather. 
got fired for attendance, bounced around a couple little short-term temp jobs. Then I was down in uh, Kentucky for a while, Southern Ohio. I moved to Kentucky, then I moved across the river, a town called Ironton. Worked there, just recently moved back here in January to Northern Ohio. And I'm just tired. I'm no better off from 18 years old, 11 years later, I'm no, I haven't built anything. Now, that's, that's my fault. I could have done a lot of things, but even looking at something simple as a, a 401k, uh, and you get taxed like 30% to take it out, or the bankers, whether it's Mass Mutual or Goldman Sachs or Lehman Brothers, I know the big ones, but you know, they're, they're, there's all kinds of different 401k plans, and, it, and it's such a scam. Like, the bankers don't put any money in. They have no risk. You put have to all, you have to put all the money into their bank, they, and then they trade it for you. If they lose it, they don't care. They don't put no money. If you want to take anything out of it, you're going to get charged 30% of that income. Now, you have to wait until you're damn near dead to get it out, to not get penalized. But they still they still make like seventy percent per investment on that, so I don't know. That's just a that's just insane to me. But if you're out there and if you're a contractor, or you want to be a contractor, or if you want to start a sewing company, or if you want to start anything, like if you're tired, just do it. Like I'm 29 years old. If I fail, I go back to factories. There's all kinds of factories around here. I won't have insurance. That's scary. But am I going to let that stop me from anything else? Because what happens if I'm potentially giving up maybe a successful business? There's a lot of people who are really successful in lawn and landscape. A whole lot of people. Maybe the lawn and landscape could be a door opening to something different. Maybe I get a job offer for somebody else and it's something that I enjoy and I like it a lot. I don't know. I'm just kind of rambling here. Um, it's just so much fun. If, like I said, if you if you're out there and you're kind of tossing it up, thinking, should I start a business? Should I not? Is it worth it? I'm gonna lose my benefits. I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna. Hey, do it. Worst case scenario, you have to go back to a factory. You have to go back to what you was doing. There's a. Not everybody can be a business owner, and I'm trying to find out now if that's what if, if that's the right thing for me and Connor. I think it is, and I'm happy about it. A lot of people were kind of nervous and scared. They're like, uh, you know, they think we're kind of just, but I really enjoy it. I enjoy making these videos. They're a lot harder, harder than I thought to run a channel. But if you, like I say, it's just really stressful. Just this is my first real vlog. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy any of my other videos with a lot of the mowing action, just like, share, subscribe. If you don't like it, give us a thumbs down. Write in the comment section how dumb it is, how stupid it is. And then share that to all your friends, everybody you know, and show them how stupid we are. So they can all give us a thumbs down and they can all share it with all the people they know. We can beat this YouTube algorithm here. Say hi, boy. Say, Mom. 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 Dog. Dog. Move. Say, Dog. What are you doing? Stop, Jesse. You're gonna jump out. Go. Go being a bad dog.
She looks so miserable. She likes being brushed. <coughs> but her edges. <coughs> See, Mama. Mama, Mama, Mama. Good night, boy. Good night, little boy. He's a little boy. Good night, boy. You ready for bed? Hey, you going to bed? Huh? Get out my face. Not in your face. Not even recording. I'm trying to take a picture and I won't focus. All right, guys, that's it. I got to get to bed. Thanks for following along with this vlog with me. I'm going to try to start throwing a couple more of these videos up on our slow dimes during this week. But uh, enjoy yourself. Stay safe. Have a good day. Goodbye.